as we get ready to go green. So here we go. Lights are on when they go off. We're going into turn one at IMS. So we're away racing. The Lucas Oil helicopter with a great shot. And you can see as we bend it into turn number one, their first opportunity to get 2-1 and 2 at speed. Wow, I think that's Brandon Posh coming from row 3 or 4, Greg. As you can see him, he's going to end up third by the time they get to turn 2. Our uh, points leader, Richie Escalante, got kind of swallowed up at the beginning. You can see him back there in six. Xavier Zayek gets off the line right behind SDK. As they roll out of the sea, Greg, we've got a faller in turn 2. Yeah, number 93, John Hawkins down. Their 17th place qualifier is down, but Sean Dillon Kelly is starting to streak away where your championship leader, number 54, is in fifth spot. Brandon Posh started from 11th on the grid. He's had a little bit of a rough weekend so far, but for him to be able to get that jump that he did, he rolled around the outside of everybody into turn one, which put him tight into turn two, and you can see he slotted himself right there. And it's Mesa, actually. We got a big crash in the background. So it's actually Mesa in second. I thought it was Zayat, but it looks like it's it's Mesa in second place. He's got the line, though. Up the inside he goes. A very slow corner. He'll take over the spot. Not happy with that 11th place qualifying session was Brandon Posh. Very upset. Oh, oh down. Sean Dillon Kelly is down, trying to restart the motorcycle and get back in the race. He does a good job. You can see the grass, though, in the back part. It's trapped in the swing arm near the uh. wheel. I don't even think, I think he held onto that bike and the clutch the whole time. I don't even think it stalled. Sneak back up underneath him as they go through turn one and into turn two. Be interesting to see Stefano lead through this whole infield, at least for a lap. Here you go, Greg. He's going to draft by on the left. Now, if he just kind of moves over a little bit, and he's trying to move over, but Brandon's moving over even more. But see, Stefano's getting into turn one better. Yeah, much and better. That's that's what I wanted to see from him. Now he's got to try to get over to the right here, use some exit. There you go. That's gonna that's gonna make it to where Brandon can't go up underneath him. Now he might be able to lead through this infield section for a lap, maybe even pull Brandon along and get away from this battle. Here's that battle, Greg. Second through uh, sixth, fifth. Coming across the yard of bricks now. A sensation a lot of these riders can feel, and Posh is going to push the issue. So he's going to take over second place into turn number one. Xavier Zayat on that Yamaha back there in fifth place, trying to hold on to this battle. He's just losing a little tenth here there. Oh, and a mistake from Posh. He goes wide, and there goes Mesa. And that could be, a, Greg, I took my eye off the screen for just a second. That could be that back shift. I, you know, you probably saw what ended up happening there, but be interested to get another look at that and see what happens. Brandon starts looking up the inside oh, now. Not and look at real. Silva. Wow. Silva just rode around the outside of him. So Lucas Silva in third spot right around Posh, and Silva looking really racy right now, trying to... He's got to get ahead of Stefano Mesa. He's got to put a gap on him on that front straight, or Mesa's going to blow right by him. So when we saw Lucas Silva at the ridge, he was all by himself in second spot after oh, the, Brandon oh, steps it up underneath him. Beautiful move. So Stefano Mesa right now in a bit of trouble. Be coming out of this last corner, and he's going to have to draft past Brandon to get himself a chance. And he's, he, like I said, Greg, he's really good out of there. And you can see Zayat's in that draft as well. They're both going to be double drafted now off of Silva. Lucas Silva in the super tuck trying to get to turn one first. Here comes Stefano Mesa up the inside of Brandon Posh. Posh can roll around the outside. Does he have enough tire to do it? He does. Posh is going to try to get on the gas and stuff him up the inside. He does. He gets the position, and Silva goes wide. Look at these riders, three wow. wide in super sport. Unbelievable. As you can see, Escalante is going to have one hand on the trophy now, Greg, going after today, winning this race. So Escalante comes across the yard of bricks, takes the checkered flag and the victory in Super Sport race number one. Now the battle we've been watching, the battle for second and third, fourth and fifth. Who's got it in the draft? Stefano Mesa looked like he was out of it a lap ago. He's going to pull out of the draft. As they come to the line, Stefano Mesa will take second place over Brandon Posh, Lucas Silva, and Xavier Zayat. This is the photo finish for second place. Boy, that's half a wheel length. Stefano Mesa timed that draft and pass maneuver to perfection. Back at Indianapolis Motor Speedway, Richie Escalante with a 15 and a half second victory over, I'm going to say over four riders because anybody could have been on the podium in that group. They were so tight between Mesa Posh, Silva, and Zaya. Jason Aguilar scratching his head a bit. I'm sure he'll take that information and put it to good use overnight to close the gap to the front.